Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to have a full day of eating keto. So yes, we're eating keto today. We're doing the things you guys just seen. I had my coffee. I've been doing um, that half and half and I've been doing about 60 grams in my cup of coffee because it's just not enough. Like I was doing the heavy whipping cream. It's still keeping me relatively low. I think it's it's under 100 calories so we're getting ready to go to the gym i have a phone call that i have to jump on for in a few minutes and then once that's over i'm going to go ahead and head to the gym so we have some new pre-workouts um that i wanted to share i seen this girl take it on instagram and i was like wow i really liked her i hope this isn't too dark i mean like is that better all right let's turn that on it's like a rainy day here today it's still hot but a rainy day so i'm like trying to get all light in but anyways this is the pre-workout i found so today is going to be the first day that we're trying it. This is the Ghost pre-workout, and it's in the Sour Watermelon uh, Warhead one. This was not cheap. I ordered this from GNC, and it was, uh, I think, like $40 or something like that. It wasn't cheap. Um, so anyways, for two scoops, this is what I really was digging, okay? So I'm going to tell you the macros real quick. If this gives you, like, a good like kick in the butt we're gonna see how it goes but anyways this is for two scoops the calories are zero total carbs are less than one total sugars are zero so right off the back i was like hell yeah boom 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 um you are gonna have some l-citrulline beta alanine nitrosigenine i don't know a bunch of other stuff and there's smart energy l-thyrosine taurine alpha gpc Natural caffeine from coffee beans, estrogen, root, I don't know, it's a bunch of weird root extracts. Other ingredients were citric acid, malic acid, malic acid natural and artificial flavors, tartaric acid, silicon dioxide, calcium silic silicate, the last thing will be sucralose. So um, yeah, that is, it is sweet and sucralose, but it's all the way at the end, so I'm hoping that it'll be okay. Um, it is vegan. Gluten, it's vegan friendly, gluten free, soy free, and sugar free. So it says do not do not exceed two scoops per day. Um, mix two scoops with eight ounce, eight to ten ounces of water. Um, varying amount of liquid for taste. For war has extreme sour experience. Mix with less liquid. Start with one scoop to assess your tolerance. Consume prior to training days. So I don't know. So I got this this guy here. And they have like protein powders too. They have like uh, BCAAs. They had a lot of stuff. So if this is good, we'll stick with it. I also picked, but uh, these are the Aspire Healthy Energy Calorie Burning. No calories, no sugars, no carbs. Mango lemonade, lightly sparkling and refreshing. So it says uh, jumpstart. This is what it looks like. I got mine at the grocery store. Um, so yeah. It says jumpstart your healthier lifestyle with Aspire, vitamins, nutrients, natural caffeine, and antioxidants to give you energy and focus. A great tasting everyday lift with slow releasing natural caffeine that leaves you with no jittery feeling or crash. Created by nutritionists, Aspire fuels metabolism through your thermogenics, helping you burn body, uh, burn calories. Uh, it's ultra premium green tea, guarana seed extract, vitamins B5, B6, B12, ginger roots, L-carnitine, biotin, and niacin. So it is zero calories, zero fat, zero carbs, zero protein. The ingredients are carbonated water, citric acid, taurine, sodium citrate, calcium lactate, uh, guarana seed extract, azorbic acid, green tea extract. This is also, towards the end, is sucralose, ginger roots, B5, B6. So it's 80 milligrams of caffeine, like a cup of coffee. How many... Caffeine is this one, I wonder. Natural caffeine. This one's 250. Whoa. So, anyways, I'm debating on which one I'm going to try today. Let's go with her. Let's go with this guy. So, we're going to make this, toss it in some water, and we're going to go to the gym. Today, we're going to do leg day. I'm slowly getting back into weight training. I'm having to use... I'm not doing so much free weights right now just because um, I'm just slowly getting back into it. I've lost some strength. And yeah, so I do about 30 minutes of cardio. That's uh, like moderate intensity cardio. And then I will go ahead and hit the weights. Um, and then today we're going to do legs. So um, I'm excited. But yeah, 
I'm really like looking forward to it. I'm really into like this new thing. So back on keto, we're not doing carn carnivore. I know people are like, what happened to carnivore? We're going to have a video update on that. Um, it's going to be real. It's going to be raw. It's probably going to piss people off because some people like go hard for carnivore. Um, but it's going to be my truth. So you guys know I, I speak my truth. But anyways, booyah, pre-workout time. Right, Let's my friends, I'm actually going to go ahead and try this one out instead. I do not have a shaker cup and I don't want to like chug that pre-workout because i don't want it to give me like heartburn or anything so i have to go to the store and actually like buy a shaker cup and see hopefully i'm gonna maybe run into marshall's and see if i can get one for a little cheap but um my kids threw them all out or they like lost the cups and stuff i don't know but anyways um we're gonna try it out so this is the mango lemonade so let's crack this open and give it a whirl i'm all dressed in my gym attire here so i got my little uh acdc money talks and just some workout leggings so all right got my little watch on okay, so ready to go also i'm gonna cut down these nails today just gotta work on it mm. maybe it's the flavor Yeah, I mean, mm, not my favorite. It tastes like, I, this is probably not going to sound smart, but it tastes very vitamin-y. Yeah, it tastes very vitamin-y. I mean, it's not horrible. I've had worse. Um, definitely had a lot worse. But uh, for the price and stuff like that, I wouldn't do it. I would much rather just buy a bang and use those instead. So anyways, um, I'm probably not going to do legs today. I think I'm going to save my leg day for the day that I'm going to be off the next day. So I think I'm going to save my leg day probably for Wednesday. And I think I'm going to do the gym Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. That's my plan. So um, yeah, I think we're going to do legs on Wednesday. So I think today we're going to do back. Back, back is, guys, do not neglect back. Back, if you do the, the the key to get that really tiny waist is you got to build the illusion, right? So you're going to want to make your back wider so that'll come out a little bit. Your waist will look more narrow and then you keep working on building your glutes and everything like that. So it'll bring this in, make this look wider. It's key. I need to work on like all of this right here. I actually talked to Leo yesterday and I told him, I said, you know what? I made the decision that I think I really want to go forward with getting my stomach fixed and having um, a tummy tuck and the muscle repair um, done on my belly. I mean, it's not gonna be like this year, probably not next year, probably not for a couple years, um, but I was kind of like always on the rope if I was ever gonna get a fix and now I feel like I'm ready. I'm ready to actually consider it and look more into it. So um, yeah, anyways, that's, eventually down the road but anyways all right i'm gonna finish this i'm going to the gym i will see y'all later okay so i am back from the gym it was such a good workout so i did back with i did really good cardio too so i oh, let me turn this um i did like i think it was a little bit over i think i did about 35 minutes of cardio but what i did was i did the treadmill which i just want to say i really love that i don't have to have people next to me on the treadmills because sometimes i feel like I breathe too hard or like I walk too hard and I'm like bothering people. I don't know. I'm weird. I, I think that people think too, like that I'm like weird. I'm, I'm very self-conscious about myself at the gym. Um, but mostly doing cardio when I'm doing the weights, I'm fine, but cardio, I always feel like I'm like huffing and puffing and stuff. But anyways, so I did 35 minutes on the treadmill and I had it at between a six and a 10 incline. And I kept the speed around like 3.8 to 4.2 and I didn't hold on. So I was just like walking uphill boy. And I did that first. I've been doing my cardio first because cardio is what I struggle with. Um, and honestly, I'm just trying to lose weight at this point. So um, I have my weight has been stagnant. I haven't lost or gained anything. It's just been sitting stagnant. So um, I got to kick up the cardio. But I want to show you guys that workout thingy. And then I did a ton of weights. And then um, I did a 
cool down on the um just like kind of a cool down walking around with some weights too did some abs i did a lot of back work and you guys know i have a my sciatica on my right side is really bad and when i went for like physical therapy for like my lower back it's a um a bulging disc i have two bulging discs in my lower back too and um it's like not only my sciatica but it's um, my sciatica is like wrapped up with my piriformis muscle so it's like my back like my butt all the way down my leg and then it's my lower back too so my back's all messed up so um they said that i have to uh strengthen my back and also strengthen your core you need really good core exercises and um so i've been really trying to strengthen that as well um okay so i just want to show you guys okay i did 613 calories with 106 minutes of working out so look i want to show you guys that's me that's me that's me that's me that's i want i want the proof okay i don't show you proof it didn't happen so um leo's also going to the gym and like he's going after work and i'm just really proud of him so we're gonna keep doing keep doing the damn thing but um it's actually 1202 and i haven't eaten yet i actually had a run I had to run to Marshalls and people are gonna, anyways, I had to run to Marshalls and I picked up that, that um, shaker cup, but I needed to get a couple things for Leo for Father's Day. And if you, your kids like those little, what are they called, Becky? Gibbets. Gibbets? Yeah. Gibbets for the Crocs. Um, they have them there, like a little set of five for like 10 bucks. I don't know, I bought some for Becky and then, you know, if you buy one for some one kid, you can't come home. So I bought Rhea some t-shirts and I bought Sophia a shirt, so. Um, yeah so anyways let's eat shall we i'm hungry what are we gonna eat we're gonna have uh some eggs we're gonna have some cactus um and we're gonna have some maybe a little sausage no yeah we'll do some sausage yeah we'll do some sausage all right so here is the cactus leaf okay this is called a nopal it's just basically the leaf of a cactus um i buy mine where the prickly is already taken off you pay a little bit extra for them but i don't know how to de prickly them and leo doesn't like to do it so much sometimes he'll do it for me my father-in-law he'll buy like a big old box and then he'll um de de stick them or whatever they're called and then he brings them to me because and he cuts them too because my father-in-law's a little angel but anyways this is what they look like so when you're having these let me get a little let me get a little knife. Here's our little knife here. Um, I take off this end piece. I want to do eight ounces of cactus, okay? So, so you want to keep that and take off that. Cactus is very, very good for you. Um, it's full of fiber. I mean, it's, it's really one of those things that is perfect for a healthy lifestyle so this is what it looks like so this is what I do okay uh, we're gonna go through I'm gonna give them a quick rinse some people I share these a lot and people will say oh I don't know how to find them I don't think they sell them in my area because I, I don't I don't know I mean I feel like if they sell them in Chicago they sell them everywhere but you know I don't know I, I've, I have a very limited exposure to other other regions of the world you know i never really travel or anything so um i can't tell you but they do sell these in a jar uh they sell them at walmart it's like i think it's called maria's they come in water i would rinse those i mean you could do them i would rinse them very well and just cook them up the same way um growing up i remember my best friend's mom she would she was the one who actually made this she would do um like a cactus salad for us and she would use the ones in the jar so um i just prefer the fresh ones because i try to do everything fresh but yeah so i just cut them in slices if you're like a real donia you just kind of go through when you do like this but yeah, my knife isn't that sharp and leo is not home to sh I, I don't know how to sharpen the knife leo does all the sharpening so just going through cutting them up and then for our protein we're going to use some Bob Evans down on the farm uh, pork sausage so the macros are I'm still not really tracking macros right now guys I'm not gonna lie um, yeah I'm not really there just yet just kind of watching um, carbs and I'm watching uh, portion controlling my veggies okay um, so for the protein for the pork sausage I'm going to do 
So for three links, pan fried is 140 total calories, 11 fat, zero carbs, and nine protein. I think I'm going to do, probably do four. I'm gonna do four of them. And I'll put these away for another meal. So what we're gonna do is we're going to just cut them in pieces and we're gonna fry them with the pan in the, the milk balls. This is gonna cook down for quite some time because I like for them to really get crispy and it's gonna have to cook the pork sausage. I think I'm actually gonna start the pork sausage first before I put the cactus in, just to give them a little bit of a head start because you know, um, if you guys are new here, like I'm always terrified of getting sick from, <laughs> from any type of uh, meat. All right, I'm gonna read to you guys the uh, benefits of cactus all right let me know if you guys like it better i somebody had made a comment and she's like danielle turn around the camera so when you're talking we could see you so uh so if you guys like it better for me turning the camera around and talking to you guys like let me know also i'm really sorry about these really long nails guys they are not my favorite they are way too long and i'm going to cut them down i know they don't look that great cooking and everything but they're going to be cut down it's just i haven't had the time so i'm going to take them down 12 reasons why you should eat nopal cactus okay here we go can we just okay it says um, nopal cactus nopal are high they have many nutritional properties they are extremely high in fiber which means they promote healthy digestion um, okay nopals can help lower cholesterol levels especially bad cholesterol and reduce the risk of heart disease they're an ideal food for weight loss due to the being in low in calorie while at the same time nutrient rich high fiber and low in saturated fat and cholesterol the high fiber content helps, also helps regulate blood sugar levels and good for diabetics. My father-in-law, when he, my father-in-law is an insulin dependent diabetic type two, as is my mother-in-law, but she's on that forum. Um, my father-in-law, when he feels his sugar's real out of control, he'll um, just blend up a bunch of nopal with some like water and he'll drink that and he'll knock his sugar right into place. My dad's been eating cactus and his A1C has significantly gone down. His sugar now, like he was telling me that his sugars were like when he was waking up, they were in like the high, like 200, like they were like 200 high 190s and he's been waking up now and they've been like 113. So it really does help. They are rich in vitamins and minerals, which can help boost metabolism. They are rich in antioxidants and phytochemicals, which help to regenerate skin cells and prevent premature signs of aging. There are many skin and hair products derived from the nopal that make use of its regenerative and moisturizing nutrients. Um, nopal's anti-inflammatory properties help to the treatment of symptoms of arthritis, joint pain, and muscle strain, and help can protect against stomach ulcers. They have also have antiviral properties. They are high in calcium. They have been found to reduce the risk of de developing osteoporosis. Nopal is per, uh, um, purported to possess anti-cancer properties and specifically may help to prevent colon cancer due to the high fiber content. Research, research carried out in 2014 found that nopal can protect against nerve cell damage. Uh, wait, can pr protect nerve cells against damage acting as a neuroprotector. Is effective as an antibacterial agent. It can help keep wounds clean and avoid infection when uh, you apply the pulp inside the skin. Oof, I think it's like popping on me. Um, yeah, so, and these are just for people who are taking the extract. We're actually eating the leaf. So there is many, 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 many benefits, guys. So don't, snoo don't snooze on it. Take it. Eat the cactus, okay? Eat it. It doesn't, people are like, what does it taste like? It doesn't really have a taste. It has a little bit of a crunch. Um, yeah, and some people might be turned off a little bit by like, it gives off a little bit of a slime. But if you boil it down, if you're like, gonna make a salad and you boil it down, once you cook it off and you rinse it, it's fine. Um, when you cook it, you'll see it gives off a little bit of a slime in the pan. But I drain it a little bit and it's fine, okay? It, it really isn't all that serious. And I'm one for like texture and taste. And I'll be honest with you guys, but I generally love it. All right, here goes the sausage that is like on and popping right now, but we're gonna add our cactus. Ooh. I'm looking a little slim, right? Right? <laughs> I work out, I go to the gym. Excuse me. Let me get these greens in. Oh, P.S. I should say this. I did. Um, I'm not taking my greens from Timmy today because I'm going to get some greens in from 
the cactus, okay? And then we're gonna have a lettuce wrap for dinner. So we're gonna get a lot of greens in today. So today's out of day, I would do my teeny greens, but if I was eating mostly protein, then I would incorporate that. I did take my Bellway fiber this morning um, on an empty stomach. That's another thing too, is I really love, I really love fiber. Also, this is gonna be my first meal of the day. Oh, I should probably say it with cooking, hold on. So here's, basically guys, you're just gonna cook this down. I am gonna take a little bit of that company salt. What's the name of this? Redmond's, Redmond's Real Salt. And we're gonna sprinkle it on. Just to help cook down. I don't wanna go too heavy just because of the sausage. The sausage is gonna have a lot of salt in it, you know? All right, so I have it on medium. I'm gonna turn it down because it's like splashing, but we're gonna let these cook down for, you're gonna see, I don't know if you guys can see, you could see like that kind of the, that sticky consistency. Becky, are you roller skating? Okay. Um, Becky roller skates in her bedroom though. Uh, so yeah, so you can see this little sticky consistency. The more you cook it down, the more stickier it'll be. If it's too much, what I would do when it gets, if it gets to be too much for you guys, you could just kind of pull your stuff out and, and drain it into a little like ramekin and then toss it. You don't have to say that. But for the most part, I cook it down long enough, it should be good. But we're just gonna let this keep cooking with the sausage. And I wanna make sure that the sausage is pretty uh, cooked up too. So that's more of the priority than the cactus. So. I would say, I don't know, eight or nine minutes or so. So I'm gonna let check in with you guys uh, when we're getting closer to being done. So you can see that it kind of, some of the nopales are getting crispy. The sausages are pretty cooked. Um, this didn't give off as much um, like juice, but yeah, you can see that they are a little bit darker in color and they're smaller as well because they will shrink, okay? So the, you know, it seems like a lot when you initially cut it up, but then once you start cooking down, it does shrink. So we're gonna add eggs. We're gonna do four eggs. These are uh, large eggs. So what I do is, I don't scramble them and do all that. I just kind of toss them in there. Yeah, I'll stick to what you know. So then I just kind of toss it in there and break everything up. I will say this, since I've been off carnivore, eggs have not caused me any bloating. All right, so our meal is done. We're gonna plate her up. You can add avocado if you wanted, but I'm just gonna stick to the cactus. Um, you can also add cheese, but I'm gonna say no on cheese right now because you guys know me and my problems with cheese, okay? Cheese just, I just love it so much. And it just doesn't love me back. And we got some salt. We're gonna do a little salt bag. Oh, probably a lot of salt. Probably gonna hate it now. But yeah, so here is our first meal. It's gonna be cactus, sausage, egg, scramble. Packed, hella packed, super duper packed, with all your very vital nutrients, packed with good protein. We got good carbs and we have some good fat in here. This is a very, very well-balanced keto meal. Do you understand? This is how we do it. This is how we feed ourselves. We're still keeping it keto, still keeping it clean, still eating good. And I don't feel like I'm depriving myself. I felt like I was very much depriving myself my whole time on carnivore, and it really put me in a really bad place, and I did not like that, but we'll talk about that more in the carnivore update. But this, my friends, is what I'm talking about. All right, my friends, we are starting on marinating our dinner. We're not eating anytime soon, but I wanna marinate this shrimp and let it sit for a while. All right, this is one pound of Argentinian red shrimp. It's my absolute favorite. It does smell real fish, fishy, I will say that. But I have it defrosted and in a bag. Right here is our seasoning. This is two teaspoons of, that's two teaspoons of cumin one teaspoon of smoked paprika, some of the Redmond's Real Salt, and some crushed black pepper. And we're gonna toss that in there. 
What we're also gonna use is the juice of two limes. We're gonna dice up a jalapeno. We're gonna use a bunch of garlic. We got some cilantro that I had to buy because I've eaten all the ones I'm growing, so I gotta recuperate my losses there. And then we also got a little bit of extra virgin, or no, avocado oil. So, first things first is we're just gonna douse this shrimp in some avocado oil, a little coat. This is just gonna be a marinade, okay? We're going to pan fry these shrimp and we're gonna serve them with some um, fresh avocado on some butter lettuce. It's gonna be real good. It's gonna be real light, fresh, and homemade, okay? So, we got that. We're gonna take our limes and you're gonna do one of these, okay? This would be really good for a barbecue. This marinade would be good on anything, really. You can marinate your steak in the same thing. Um, I've done it. It's delicious. Just go ahead and use your little squeezer. So then we got our cloves of garlic, okay? Five heads of garlic. I have a little garlic press here. I love this thing, so you just go ahead. As you can see, you just do one of those. And then you can clean out the insides just like that. I never have good luck chopping garlic. Now we have our jalapeno. I'm just, just drop, drop, uh, chopping mine in these little like tiny circles or like slices. I try not to cut up too much of the seed and put it in there. Make sure you wash your hands well after touching the jalapeno. Yeah, I'm gonna add, you know, another one. I don't, I don't chop all the way up though because I the seeds are what make the jalapeno hot. So I don't like to incorporate too much of the seeds. Next up is our cilantro. We're not gonna we're gonna leave a little bit left so we can garnish our meal with it. But you just go through when you chop up cilantro, roll it in like a tight little bundle, and then rub your knife, run your knife through it. Be careful. Here's our seasoning mix. We're gonna toss it in there. And then Got it in your little Ziploc bag, right? Because we don't like dishes. Well, specifically my kids don't like dishes. And I'm gonna cook the shrimp with the shells on and then go from there. When it's time to assemble, I'll remove them, but it'll look, it gives it a really good flavor. I don't know what it is. It just works out that way. All right, my friends, welcome back. We're gonna start dinner, okay? So. I got you on a different angle here. So we got our little pan here. What do you guys think about the new pan? It's nice, right? Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of avocado oil. We're gonna get it warm. So what we're going to do now is we have our bag of shrimp. They've been marinating for a couple hours. We're gonna let this oil get hot and we're gonna go ahead and start adding our shrimp to the pan. So remember, I did add, I did, um, Keep my shrimp with the whole shell on, okay? Um, if you don't want to do, I, I was even asking Leo, like, should I leave it? And he's like, just leave it. It's really good. It adds a little flavor. And then you can go ahead and remove the shrimp as you're eating with your um, little, we're going to make a little, like, avocado salsa to go with the, um, the shrimp, okay? So we're going to let this avocado oil heat, heat up here. If you guys are interested, I got this pan at Marshall's. I needed some more pans. I'm trying to upgrade all my pans, but I got a slow but steady wins the race, you know guys? A little shrimps, and then you're gonna cook these. It should not take long. Do not overcook your shrimp. Um, I'm tossing a couple chunks of jalapeno because you could also, if you guys had a um, flat top grill, which we do, but I didn't want to bug Leo like when he comes home from work to like cook it, you know? Usually when you guys see Leo barbecuing, it's usually on his day off. Um, he did offer right now, but I didn't want to bother him. So here is that shrimp. So you're just going to let these cook up, and they're going to shrink a little bit and go from there. These shouldn't take long, maybe five minutes at most. Okay, so here are the shrimp. You can see they curled up nicely. I'm just going to go ahead and toss them. I have a little container back here that I'm going to hold them in, and I'm just going to keep cooking them up. And then while these were cooking, I also separated my um, lettuce leaves for that we're going to use as like a wrap to go with this. 
I'm gonna pull these little chunks of jalapeno out because I wanna add those. We're also going to add some fresh jalapeno to this little mix we're gonna make. And then we're just gonna keep on adding more shrimp and finishing up our plate. You know, the things. We're gonna cook the things up here, but it's hard for me to do with one hand and that tripod just was not cutting it. All right, so while the shrimp is doing its thing, I have just this glass bowl. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two avocados and we're going to core them, you know, dice them up. I guess every time I do this, somebody calls, I, I always, I can't never remember the girl's name. She works for like a hand surgeon and she, they said that everybody comes in with, they call it the avocado hand, where when people are trying to cut up the avocado, they always slice up the palm of their hand. So don't be that person. But we don't use like the avocado core or anything like that. We just take it, score it. You just be careful not to go too deep, guys. I like to do mine like in these scores because I like for the salsa, like the avocado chunks to be chunky. So then I take a spoon and I take out the avocado. I am going to weigh out the avocado that I put on, or like this little salsa that I put on, because even though avocado is keto friendly, it should still be eaten in moderation. So at least for me, at least for where I'm at right now. You do you, I do me, but just giving you guys some ideas for a nice easy light summer uh, dinner or lunch or whatever. So again, with the cilantro, we're gonna cut up the rest of that little bunch that we had. Same way that we did last time. Remember I told you, roll it kinda in a little ball and then just run your knife through it to make things difficult. And then we're gonna take the juice of a couple limes. That is the Redmond's Real Salt. That was the best thing I ever found while being on carnivore. there you go you could add tomato too if you wanted but we're just going to keep it real simple with some fresh um avocado cilantro lime and salt you could also add some jalapeno to this if you wanted but we're just going to leave it as is i'm looking fabulous so yeah i think we're just about done hell yeah looks good all right my friends what do we think here here is, we have them on a few pieces of, so yes, here it is. We have, you see some of the um, chunky like pieces of um, avocado that we made, like the little fresh salsa to go on top. We have our shrimp on there and I have some lime to just flavor it with, but I think it looks really good. We're gonna have Leo try it out, so. <laughs> How was it? It's good. <laughs> just a little difficult to eat. You probably use like iceberg lettuce or romaine or something. Oh, yeah. But how do you think the flavor is though? It's good. It's good? Yeah. All right. Let me get my plate ready, guys, and I'll All right. Back. So here is my plate. I just went ahead and did, um, I think this is like three ounces of that lettuce. And then this is about a half a cup, about 4.3 ounces of avocado. So that is what we're going to have today. Um, I think it was if you went, I forget what, it, I should have did it in grams for the avocado. But anyways, I'm going to add just a little bit more lime juice. I like my stuff real limey. Leo does it. All right, here we go. I'm going to grab a little, a little lettuce here. I had to learn from Leo. This is really good. I told you it was. This would have been really good. This is like perfect for summer. No? Mm-hmm. Perfect for summer, guys. Perfect, perfect for summer. It's... It's real flavorful, but it's still real light. And like the citrus and everything, it's perfect for summer. And you don't have to worry about like the added carbs or anything. You know, you can use, if you have a garden, you can use a lot of your stuff from your garden. You don't even have to really use shrimp either. You can use chicken or like flank steak or something, no? Mm -hmm. I'm going to eat this. I'm going to be back later, but this is thumbs up. All right, my friends, I'm going to go ahead. There's like food on my camera. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee. It is 4.56. I have been doing like dirty fasting 
and that's just what we're going to call it. I'm not going to get into it and be all strict about it because it doesn't work. If I'm hungry, I'll eat and I'm not going to like try to like shove food down my throat early. Um, but I do have like my coffee in the morning and that's it. Um, I don't know. I'm really happy. I'm really happy with the workouts. I'm really sore. I'm going to get uh, in the shower right now, but I feel really productive. I felt like we had a really good uh, day of eating. We ate really well. Yes, I only really eat two meals a day, but I'm not hungry and I don't feel like I'm restricting myself and I don't feel like I am going to binge. I do want to share with you guys a little dessert I made. <clears throat> All right, let me show you this dessert I made. This was another uh, Pinterest find. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to turn the camera around. This is the full fat coconut milk mixed with about three ounces of like I warmed it up on the stove top and then I melted down three ounces of the strawberry white chocolate from Chalk Zero. I love Chalk Zero. If you guys have not tried Chalk Zero, you need it in your life. Um, it doesn't cause any um, response with my blood sugar or anything like that. And it's so, 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 so good. But this is super, um, you're able to get some good fats in from the, the, um, what is it? The coconut milk. And then you get a little sweetness. That's all I did. And then I mixed it up and then I threw it in these little ramekins. These are about, if you do like total carbs, I think they're about five total carbs, but let me show you the consistency. It's, they're pretty good. You could see it has the nice thick texture. I mean, it could be thicker, but it is still pretty good. I like it. I thought it was pretty good. It was really refreshing. It has like a strawberry coconut taste to it. Leo won't eat it because he doesn't like anything like this, like a milkshake. But it is really good. It, it tastes like the coconut is very much pronounced in there. Um, but I just like to have it um, and just kind of snack on it once in a while. But just got to give you an, an option for maybe a summer treat. This is nice and light. You can do, um, if you like the taste of coconut, you could probably just use the coconut milk and sweeten it with a little bit of your, whatever sweetener you use. I'm making a mess with that. And um, just have it like that with some fresh shredded coconut. And that's an, um, an idea, you know. Um, you could probably thicken it with a little guar or something or a little... Um, what is that like thickening whatever thickening agent you want to use but i just wanted to share that little recipe with you guys um sophia liked it a lot actually she loves the strawberry white chocolate chips from chalk zero are sophia's absolute favorite if you want to do dark chocolate you can do that you know possibilities are endless but this is a quick little summer dessert i just wanted to share with you guys as well but all right oh and you can make a homemade cool whip too but all right guys i'm out of here i gotta go take a shower and i'm gonna relax i love you guys i'll see you in the next one Toodaloo.